Oh, you, I, didn't, I, I, didn't, I, didn't, I didn't even have to say anything. You, 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 you said it for yourself. Yeah, I'm, I'm, hey, I'm repeating your words, you know? You, you said it like, you said it timidly. I'd like you to say it with your chest. I would appreciate it if you said it with your chest, you know? At the press conference, you were a little timid, like a, like a little boy. You were talking about Christmas presents and all this stuff. But look, man, you're you're this happy. Is, this is I'm you, happy, brother. Though. This is you. You got a big mouth. You like to talk too much. <laughs> Baby, I like to, to I like to excite the people. Are you not? Like are you not happy when you got that contract? Am I not the biggest name you've been in the ring with? Stop playing with you're yourself. Big. You're the I'm biggest the realest, man. You're not the, you're not the, the best man. The you're not the, you're not the most talk. talented bloke I've ever fought. Because yeah, I yeah, walk. You, that's all you are. You're a I talker. only talk, talk, talk because I walk. You're a big I male. This life. You were born into it. I was. I lived this life too since I was seven years old, baby. Hey, hey, this ain't nothing I new. I will show you why I was born into new. this life. Because I like to punch and I like to fight. That's what it is. It's going to be That's the life good, I was, That's oh, the life I was born into. Oh, your yeah, best I shot. I will. I what will. What you gonna do, Zoo? What you gonna do? I'm Throw gonna knock you out in two. That's in, what two. I'm do. <laughs> in two. In two. <laughs> All right, baby. So, I said to you in person. I said you're gonna you're gonna squeal. That's what I'm gonna. That's what uh, I said. You're gonna be a don't squealer. Go, please don't go nowhere. Squealer. Don't don't go nowhere so I can just. Uh, uh, he said this really quick. What are you talking about, man? This is what I'm about, bro. I'm going to knock him out. I'm going to knock him out. I'm going to knock him out. I said boxing, boxing, baby. Boxing, that's the sweet science. That's the sweet science. Man, okay? my, my last fight, I haven't been hit, man. I walked in, I walked out fresh. What are you talking about? That's what I'm saying. They they, they picked some nice fights for you. Pe Them dudes ain't hungry like me, bro. They're not hungry. Hungry? Bro. You've been They're not a hungry. <laughs> oh people it cut out yeah i'm gonna have to go back and replay that last part i don't know what it cut out for but anyway oh these pagans cut it out anyway what's going on it's your man new white the yb back once again let's find i've got a clip of the last part it was it was bad mind his last bar from tim zoo Furman was like well he was like i didn't know he got cooked tim keep i hate to say it but Mr. Once Upon a Time got cooked by Zoo. That's just what happened. I ain't gonna. I ain't here to judge. It's what happened. He got cooked. They listen. They smoking on that Keith Furman right now in Australia. Them ca I hope them kangaroos. They be rolling on that one. Big facts. The kangaroos, the alligators, all them ones, all them. Even the tumbleweed. Even the tumbleweed is smoking on the Furman right now. The Aussie tumbleweed. They smoking on that. <laughs> That's what it is. They 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 picked some nice fights for you. Pe them dudes ain't hungry like me, bro. They're not hungry. Hungry? Bro. You've been on a hungry, fucking bro. vacation for five years, <laughs> hungry. What are you talking about, that's man? That's what makes you hungry. <sighs> hungry. They, oh, Firma lost they, his head. Look at, the, look at the weakness of the comeback as well. Firma, the, Porter's here cracking joke. The bars are bars. Zoo cooked Furman in this exchange. Cooked him. Yeah? Cooked him. Told him this. You're going to be squealing like a little girl. I'm gonna have you squealing there. Yeah? Fact. No doubt. I'm gonna be on my Jimmy Saville on your ass. That's that ain't, I'm just saying it effectively, right? My name, Tim Zoo, and I'm fixing to be on my Jimmy Saville on your ass. You're gonna be squealing like a little girl. Oops. Firming in there on some weird shit. <laughs> on some weird spiritual shit or something. Listen to, listen, listen to him get cooked. Listen again. Fucking vacation for five years, hungry. What are you talking about, that man? What makes you hungry? It's called a hungry. Fat. They, they, they. They're not hungry. Hungry? Bro. You've been on a fucking vacation for five years. It's hungry. the way. What are you talking about? That man? is the way. It's the way Tim Zoo screw his face up as well. Like, it, the face expressions of Tim Zoo is like proper disbelief. Like where they find this guy at? Where they find? Where they get this goof troop from? Where they get this goofball from? I'm like, damn. They really be doing it goofy. I'm not sure where Keith Herman from, but it's that one there. It's like, damn, this Nick really goofy. He actually hella goofy with it. How about you're hungry? You weren't even hungry. If, what Mr. Once Upon a Time, yeah? You weren't even hungry when 50-year-old Pacquiao punch your ass up. Push your wig back. Fact. Keith Herman wig was like this, Turkish style. Fresh, like you've been to Turkey. 
Like Floyd, listen, Floyd, Floyd been to Turkey. Floyd been got that Turkish boop hairline sorted out nice. I need to get on myself. If I had some coin, I might go Turkey and get mine nice off as well. Do you know what I mean? But listen, Keith Furman had a wig. Keith Furman wig was tight. This one, Turkey style. Yeah, and two twos after Pacquiao. Pacquiao done knock that. Come on now, stop. You know it's bad here when you're on camera. You can't even see no wig. You just see <laughs> you just see head. You just see head. Where the wig? There's a bit of wig there. Fair play to him. He's got a bit of a wig there, but most of it is his back, right? Pacquiao done pushed that wig back for him. And he know he ain't been seen since. Has he even fought since? 2019 it was five years ago. Damn. Fair play to Furman though. He's not doing what a lot of goofballs do. A lot of goofballs, they fight bums, right? Furman. Tim Zhu, he really win it. If Tim Zhu beats Furman, I believe Crawford should fight Zhu. I think Crawford tear the ass up, but still. I got Zhu in this fight, I hate to say it. Furman struggled with an old Pacquiao. Zhu is very similar to Pacquiao. It, it kind of thing. And he's younger and hungry. Zhu wants it. I believe Zhu beats Jamal Charlo as well, after seeing the Canelo fight. I don't think Charlo really got it. I just don't think he has. Then again, Zoo is tougher than... Sorry, Zoo isn't as, as heavy-handed as Canelo is. Still, I like what I see from Zoo, And I see Furman couldn't handle the pressure of old Pacquiao. Young, hungry Zoo, he can tear that ass up like it's his birthday. He can put Furman in his once-upon-a-time birthday suit. All pretty looking. All pink and pretty looking. Once upon a princess. That's what he can be known as. I didn't say it. Zoo said you're going to be squealing. Yeah, you're going to be on your keef once upon a princess Furman thing by the time I finish cooking on you. And we already know categorically the kangaroos, they've already started smoking on that keef after, watch, after watching this video. Nash, I'm hearing nationally in Australia, they're already, the kangaroos are already lighting up that, that Furman now. This is what it is. And when the kangaroos are already smoking on you, there's not, I, there's not much else to be said. Yeah? They're already smoking on the arse in, in Australia. What's, what's there to be done? They don't even need to fight at this point, to be quite frank. Fight for what? Yeah? The bits have been rolled. It's been lit up. They're smoking on it already. Nothing to be had here. Let's cancel the fight and move. In my opinion, cancel the fight and move straight to Zoo versus Crawford. I don't even need to see Furman versus Zoo. Because he already smoked on. But yeah, I mean, look at look at um, look at Sean Porter's face, man. In fact, I didn't increase the screen, so you might be, might not be able to see it. But I want to increase it without showing you man video, so I don't get my channel popped by some pagan authorities. But you can at least appreciate. Look at the grinners. Look at and bear in mind, people. Sean Porter's picked Furman to win this fight. They're friends, though. I think Sean Porter's being friendly with it. Look at the grinners. Even you know it's bad, dear. You know you've been cooked. You know there's you know them Aussie kangaroos are smoking on your ass when your friend who's picked you to win the fight is cracking jokes. Look at Tim's face there. You're like, did they find this guy out? He goofy, he goofy with it. He been goofy. Don't forget, people. During Furman's hiatus, he went to Bali and got himself a wife, and he was all dressing with all these with all the different shingles on. What do you call them? Shingles and bangles and the whole works. He lost his head. I think it was after Pacquiao. Either way, at some point he lost his head and went all spiritual with it. Yeah, believing in a greater power after Pacquiao. But you have to. You almost have to believe in a greater power. When a 50-year-old man can change the dynamics of your wig, can change the, um, the uh, can, can change the efficacious nature of your wig, the whole complexion of your wig. When an old-ass man can change the whole complexion of how your head top be looking, you have to go to a spiritual realm. The spirits are the only ones that can help you. Yeah? When another man can... Change can spin all your wig up. Fact 50 year old Manny Pacquiao spun Keith Furman wig all the way up, had it spinning, spinning off. In fact, spun so much it was off, right? Yeah, so you have to become spiritual at that point because you know man is no good. How can man there must be something greater than man? How can I believe in anything if next man can spin my wig up for me? Hence, spiritual. Let me get into the spiritual community because they can help me. God knows that no one else can help him on this earth. No man can help him on this earth. He's, he's, he's already been spun up. No, that's a lie. The, the Turkish, he can fly out. Keith Furman could fly out to Turkey and get his bits done. He could do that, to be fair. But still, in principle, 
it's what you hope there's a higher power out there. Please higher power, bring my wig back to how it was looking before Pacquiao got on me. Anyway, let me know your thoughts, people. Smash the like button, subscribe, and like off the bell, 100%, and all that.